What's up everyone? This is Saiyan Sight Night One back once again for some more Let's Play a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And as you can probably tell, this is actually after so the fourth part, so this is gonna be post-commentary. Enjoy the hero introduction. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're on route, everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. What? Then the copy that. Over. Taking out everyone aboard and. What's wrong? Sonic ever the cheeky bastard. But yeah, like I said about it being post-commentary, yeah, it turns out that the original video that I posted for the third part was actually the raw file, which is obviously not the edited version, but just the, just this part, or the commentary. And unfortunately I deleted both of the actual files that I needed before I actually realized that I actually needed them. Well, in my hindsight. But overall, what you see in the Sonic stages are exactly the same as in uh, Shadow stages. A lot of fast running, going through the area as fast as possible. All around fun and most people will obviously remember this as being the first quote unquote real level of the game. I mean, it is a Sonic game after all. You can only play as Sonic. And word of wise, look at your files before you actually upload something. Don't fuck up like I did. And there actually is a upgrade in this. Stage, but you're not actually able to get it until much later where you get another upgrade, which I believe is in a pyramid-like stage for Sonic. So we're a long ways away from that as, as far as this recording is concerned. Overall, good music. A definitely memorable ending to the level, if I do say so myself. If you see where those gray blocks are, that's where the upgrade actually is. Just go, you idiot. Yeah, you do have a chance to get above the enemies, but it's probably best just to take the low road so you have less chance of actually dying. about Sonic's shoes in this game, whereas after this and before this they remain like the originals, he's actually wearing soapbox shoes which allow him to grind. And past this, Sonic is able to grind in basically every game after this. So it's more or less just a marketing thing between Sega and the soapbox company. How the fuck can a truck like that be so damn fast? And there actually is an easter egg in the Dreamcast version of this game. Yes! You actually get to see Big the Cat as a little cameo. But since I'm actually playing the GameCube version, I'm not going to be able to see that. Not that anyone's really all that sad about it. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. 
Bring it on! Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Okay, quick question, how the hell did that thing actually find Sonic? Sonic can outrun a giant frickin' truck, tell me he can't outrun that thing? And yeah, this fight is a freaking joke, and I say that just as I'm getting shot at, so... Don't trust my fucking words. And after you get another upgrade, this makes the fight even more of a freaking joke. Be able to be in like less than maybe 10 seconds. Or, yeah, 10 seconds. And I don't believe that the boxes respawn, so you're basically forced to wait until he actually lands on the ground and then starts launching missiles at you, but it's very easy to defeat him before he gets that chance. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. That's not I'll get into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the wolf gems are mine. Yeah, we'll see about that bad girl. Seriously, is that their only comment about her being a bat? In ways with Knuckles' stage, it is very, very easy. It's not that it's being the second level means anything, it's just freaking simple as hell. There's only three main stages, and it's almost guaranteed. The three shards are almost guaranteed to be in at least one of them. I believe there is an upgrade in this level as well, but again, you can't do it until later on. Almost like they're actually telling you what to do with the arrows in the walls. Of course, I always try to never use the actual hint boxes because I like to try and find these things on my own. I mean, who doesn't?
And of course, the rat needs to get back, which I don't have a real big deal in for, except for maybe this and Pumpkin Hill. There it is. Just hanging on the wall. Usually I can find it faster than that, but apparently this time I was having a little bit of trouble. God, this rings don't really have much of a, or no, of an effect on the ranking for gem hunts. There's no mistake about it. This must be the island. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called. Not every game where you actually get to start off the, the segment with a boss battle. And is it just me or are the heroes fur color are really dark? Only in the cutscenes for some reason. Otherwise, they look normal. Tails looks bright orange in this. And of course, this might be fucking Tails. And his body is smoking. He's probably dead. This time I'll let you go. But the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. They seriously gotta fix their damn cameras if they keep showing off Amy's panties! For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake, man! Thunder Age! Well, it's not real, but still. And of course, another upgrade is needed to get through that barricade. Oh my god, I'm not gonna cut the fuck up! I'm so glad they could get out of here just chucking his worthless ass. I kind of find this stage to be more annoying than in Eggman's first stage. What about that? Whatever. Just seeing Eggman gets faster. Because in Tails' first stage, you can't really go much farther until, you know, kill everything in sight. And some of those guys hide around the area, so it's not always as good as it seems. If you actually need to move the life if you hold no rings, but you still have energy on the bar. Never really tested that. Of course, you always have these uh, extending or descending seconds where you can just unload kind of a bunch of rounds onto enemies. Might be doing a little bit of the child garden after the project, but I'm not promising anything. Considering, considering that raising a child is actually quite time consuming. Plus, I'm not very freaking good at it. 
to give them friggin' everything. Try to make them nice and roll around it. It turns out that the Chow Garden is spread across all of the save files. It's not just the one. So, if I actually do show off my Chow Garden, it will actually have uh, older Chow and more powerful Chow than my earlier gameplays. But, you know, let's play. And that is actually the Tornado 2 from the original Sonic Adventure. It's not the original, but the red. Come to think of it, you don't really see the Tornado 2 like, at all after this. Because you know in the Sonic Unleashed, it does have the regular Tornado again. And also in the Sonic Lost World, he has the Tornado 1 again. So what the hell happened to this? Did this thing get decommissioned or what? Never seem to get a good that score on these stages. Huh? Amy, keep your voice down. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. How'd you get here? Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Bill. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it. The reason I'm in here is because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry? This coming from the 12-year-old who is asking him to marry you. That's it. Ah, more good music. Also, I can never get more than, like, a C or a B on this stage. I don't exactly know why. I may have to look at other people and see how they do it. Thankfully, in this stage, you actually get a freaking upgrade. Across those ones. And there's the light shoes. They're just like the air shoes for Shadow. It's in light dash now. It's basically required. Because otherwise, you wouldn't go in anywhere. Actually, that'd be an interesting, interesting idea. Like a very low upgrade run. I mean, some are easily missable, but but for like for uh, for Shadow and Sonic, some of them are basically necessary, especially the light speed shoes. It probably is a very easy way to cheese this next part, but of course, I don't know anything about cheese. Probably has something to do with the bumpers on the size, but whatever. The faster you get there, the higher the score, obviously. One space again, Sonic. Won't be the first friggin' time. Won't be the last. How do you keep getting those friggin' boards? I must love destroying machinery. Only concerning his art. Search Nemesis is Dr. Robotnik. And right here, it always seems like you're gonna fall off. You can't really do anything yes. about it. 
It's like the game is taunting you. Huh. Well, that was no problem. bad for some reason. Still don't know what the hell I did wrong. Apparently it was not fast enough. I'm too slow! Hedgehog again of all places. I found you. Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh? You're not even good enough to be I'll my I'll make you eat those words. There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. I so love the flash animation that someone made of that exact scene, because it is freaking hilarious. And also, the easy way to win this fight is just to put somersault into him. Because otherwise, he's just going to keep on bouncing on you. And no, he cannot fall off. But you can! Again, if I had another upgrade, this thing would be done in less than, like, 15 seconds. That's how good the upgrade actually is. You won't even get the chance. You Shut the fuck up, Oma Chow. Easy the way to get him off of you is just jump when he's about to homie attack you. That way, no damage is actually done. You gotta get rather close to him. In order to actually hit him with the somersault. Not bad for an imposter. Do you know who I am? My shoes there, Shadow. Just pick those up. And here we go, it's Sykes' nice version of the Forest Run. There actually are a few places you can actually go for this place. I gotta stop fucking repeating myself. A few areas that you can divulge off the main drag. But they eventually just lead to the same area again anyway. It also has a pretty good soundtrack to it. For the most part, just avoid the enemies. Just go to where you need to go, man. It's not necessary. And you're almost killing yourself there. No nuts. And if I can remember correctly, which often will happen, unfortunately, there's another upgrade in here that I can grab. I don't think this requires any kind of previous upgrade just requires the humming attacks. There we get the Ancient Light, which allows you to light speed attack just like in the original. Unfortunately, there is no crystal ring to make it go faster. Not that it's overly slow or anything like that, though. That poor Shadow can get his too. I almost killed myself right then and there. If you can't have a sun again without at least one loop to loop. Okay, quick question. Who the hell is putting all these damn chow boxes all over the place? Either someone's got a vendetta or someone is really wonky with the old chow thing. I always used to love trying to outrun the rings that you get from the magnet shield, but unfortunately in this area it's impossible to dodge them considering you get stuck on that line. So, the fun has to end somehow.
In order to get the Magnet Shield, I think you need something like 120 or over 100 rings to actually get it. Don't quote me on that, though. In this area, you can easily get through if you have, take a wild guess, the power up for me later stage! Yes! Damn, they made that thing almost freaking essential. Yeah, this time not too, too bad. Piece of cake. You can always get better by just refuse to. Cause I'm lazy. Now it's time for Knuckles' second stage, Pumpkin Hill. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find Master Emerald. That's where I'm going. Pieces. And of course, he gets his upgrade, which is basically necessary. They shove the claw. And you're telling me he couldn't dig beforehand without them? Just like in his previous stage, this area has three main places where you can find the pieces of the emerald. And I think I'm getting stumped on this one, because radar is doing nothing. Sometimes it can be just be a pain in the ass trying to find at least one piece of it. Fall and rise and try to find any kind of area that really is putting up any kind of you know, lip on the radar. Right now I think my current self is fucking stumped. And sometimes I do just restart the level just to make it a little bit faster. Because these things can take quite a while if you're not familiar with the areas. Seriously, not one friggin' blip at all. There's the restart. Thankfully, when you restart, you don't actually lose any upgrades or anything like that. That's basically fine. Which is both a blessing and a curse because some of them, like Knuckles, can actually look kind of awkward on him. Especially when he gets all of his upgrades. Looks like he's gonna develop a spinal issue. There it is. See, that was much faster. God for those rockets, otherwise you'd have to spend the whole damn thing just climbing them on your own. I really hit most of the time when they land on that area with the train because those things can be a big pain in the ass. And there's also some spike balls there and... You know, it's a whole dilemma. I think that the spots where you get items is kind of random. You seem to get just about anything in any spot, unless he starts shouting rats, in which you'll find nothing! I think that's actually for a later mission in his lineup. I believe there's about five different mission types. One is the original, this time. The next one is collect at least 100 rings, and then the next one is finding a straight chow. The fourth one is a, a bit tougher version of the regular version, or the regular mission. And finally, there's just the ball about try not to die mission. I shouldn't say balls out, just sounds disturbing. He 
you find this stupid thing already. I'll spoil it for you. It's on top of a giant freaking pumpkin. I believe it's that one. Yep. Right where his nose would be. It really helps when you can actually see the exclamation point. Otherwise, you're just going to be going around in circles. Well, that's going to be end for this little part, and I hope you enjoyed regular commentary yeah, in part four. Perfect. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!